So today we're back with episode 3 of the franchise for the Beavers. That's right, episode 3. We're keeping it going. Possible double upload just depends on how free agency goes. I know the Tigers are possibly signing Baez. And also, at the same time, I'm like trying to hold off on doing other rebuilds. Because tomorrow's the last day before the lockout happens. And a lot of people are expecting a lot of free agency moves to happen before the lockout happens. So today, tomorrow possible trades who knows what's gonna happen with free agency so like i'm trying to hold off but i also want to give you guys some content so we're gonna have the beavers potentially a rebuild later tonight we'll have to see how things go but beavers content let's focus on that today opening day versus the padres i gotta do a couple housekeeping things with you guys talk about a certain couple comments that i saw in the last video that's about it let's get into it i hope you enjoy it thumbs up if you do subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content and of course in the comment section let me know do you enjoy the series what could we do going forward with the series all that good stuff let me know some comments down below of course twitter instagram second channel twitch channel i'll be streaming tonight around 9 10 p.m eastern if you guys want to come hang out that's really about it go follow those links down in the description but let's do a couple housekeeping things the first one let's talk about the quick counts camera angles all that stuff let's get that out of the way so the sliders are going to stay the same the one thing that I am going to change is this guy brought up the idea of changing the pitching style of the classic. And I am going to do that. I've already done that. I've tested it out in an exhibition game just to get a little used to it, how things play out. We're going to do classic. He also said make a custom camera view. I think we're going to leave the custom camera view for the hitting or like just leave that as not a possibility. We'll leave the hitting view as is for now. I'm not too sure I'm going to keep it with the PCI though. I'm thinking about getting rid of the PCI, maybe switching it to more of like a directional or potentially analog we'll have to wait and see how that plays out i want to see how pci goes if i notice it's a little bit too easy as we move forward i will change to something different but classic for pitching style is definitely happening so there's that we'll get that out of the way next up give saunders a shot at third base in double a i've already done that we have made that move up full full send it he's playing third he won't have the secondary positions for the outfield anymore. So he's literally just left, first, and third. There was no option to be left, right, first, third. That's kind of what I was hoping I could have done. So instead, he's just got first, third, and left field. So with the abundance of prospects we have in the outfield anyways, I'd be okay with moving him to a, just third base permanently, and he should be fine. We're not going to player lock him today, but we definitely will play a game with him as the season progresses and goes on so i'm also noticing that he looks pretty top heavy he looks like he's got some chicken legs and then like his upper body's like kind of built but that's for another day next up you could use lorenzen as a two-way role he's pursuing that role in real life which he's actually signed with the angels and then his hitting attributes aren't atrocious you're right they're not terrible um i can't use him right now i don't think but because he's got to have like a certain amount of innings before he can become a two-way player we'll have to wait and see how that goes i'll definitely try to get him into the team at some point as in an outfield role just to see how it feels but um yeah we'll we'll, we'll test it out we'll test it out for sure and see how it goes we'll, we'll see we'll see i don't know when it's gonna be i'm definitely gonna clickbait it as a title but we'll, we'll see how it goes uh maybe today who knows who knows uh the final one Someone pointed out that Max Muncy, yep, another Max Muncy, yep, another Max Muncy signed to the Athletics, who was drafted this year in real life, was C potential. And he was, he was, he was like 75 potential. What I've done is he was a first round pick, pick? He was a first round pick. So instead I've bumped him up to 82 potential and he can play shortstop as well as the other positions in the infield. So there is that, there is that. Those are all the housekeeping things that i wanted to talk about only other moves that i've done to the team i've made a secondary second and third as well as volt or volt bay or volt b whatever it is someone let me know in the comment section i think that's i think that's it i think i think that is it i think that's it um oh i lied there are a couple other things i had to sign a couple players because we are so thin so thin at pitcher it is crazy so what i've done is i've signed tommy Evild, Evild, and Carlos Navas to deals. I've signed them to deals. And I also realized that I've signed Nico Goodrum to a five-year deal. So we're going to have to cut him at the end of the year because I don't want to keep him. He's actually really, really bad. I'm actually really tempted to just get him off the team as soon as possible. Maybe a trade. Um, maybe get some sort of other 
position player because man he is he, he just isn't good he just isn't good i would like to try to pick up maybe maybe a prospect you know i, I definitely want to get some sort of prospect into the team I also would like to make a trade. Probably not going to be today though. So let me know some potential trade targets. I've talked enough. We're already at like five minutes of the video. Let's get into opening day against the Padres. Let's see how this game goes. Padres lineups on screen. Uh, they do have Ramon Laureano. I did forgot. Forgot? Oh boy. I did forget that we did trade him. That's how we got. Who did we get from them? Morihone. Yep, that happens. Opening day. Portland Beavers baseball has finally arrived. Portland, Portland. We're in Portland, Portland. Oh boy, I gotta change that next year. Um, so we've got, oh boy. So we've got Portland. Oh man, what's our baseball stadium called? I, uh, I'm, I'm having a mess right now. Anyways, or I'm making a mess of this. Heidi Watney's here. She's telling us we're making our debut in our stadium. Paul Blackburn, don't worry about how he did last year. It's not important. We're only focused on on how things go moving forward with the Portland Beavers. Adam Frazier, now of the Mariners, actually. Let me move myself up a little bit so I don't cover up that part of the screen. Um, so, yeah. Ooh, I do want to take away the pit. Ooh, I do need to see the pitches, though. So, what is it? 1-2. So, as you can see, classic pitching going forward. Let's do it. I don't... Maybe I aimed it in the right spot. Oh, that actually worked out pretty well. Maybe quick counts isn't the move with like classic pitching and everything. Maybe we just keep it the way it is. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it. I do like classic pitching. I think it is going to be pretty solid, but we'll have to wait and see how it goes. So, alrighty, let's see what we got going on here. Just missing down in the zone. I, I should show you the the stadium in a little bit more glory, huh? Let's let's zoom out a little bit. Can I zoom out a little bit so you you can see it? I, we had we didn't get a look at the back it's just stands we've got the roof the retractable roof here as you can see a, a little bit of nice architect architecture architecture in the back the roof on top still and as we make our way around the stadium you can see a couple a couple nice little things going on in center let me zoom in on this you guys can see we've got some nachos some hot dogs the bullpens chilling over here a couple fountains we'll zoom in on those you guys can kind of see the other stuff going on in the background back there. You know, we've got the roof, the good stuff. So yeah, just a just a quick little 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 peek at the stadium, just for those that did miss it in the first episode. So two two count to Trent Grisham. We're gonna go with the fastball here. Hopefully, it works out and he misses it outside the zone. So full count with Tatis up. I would love to avoid a walk here. Please avoid the walk. Avoid the walk, man. Alrighty, Tatis, 2-2 count. Got to make sure we put it in the right spot. That, that was actually where I wanted it, so I'll take it. Let's get a little, little change down in the zone, see if we get the double play ball. He went. Blue. Blue. Come on. That, that was a bad pitch, but it looks like we're going to make the play here with Frazier. And let's get it in. Boom. Perfect. Ooh, Miguel Andujar. That's not going anywhere. Okay, never mind. All right, it looks like this one's dropping. I don't think Frazier's got a chance. And to be honest, oh, this is what we're doing? I tried to pull up because I knew it was going to be one of those weird situations. He's going to get a triple here because we're not rushing to get the throw in. I knew the ball was going to drop, right? Like, I saw the pitch. I was like, okay, whatever. He, It's going to drop. But what is... Just just put your glove out. Just put your glove out. Just put your... This, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Well, one out now. Probably going to score here. And we couldn't. So, there, there's that. We didn't take advantage of our opportunity. But they probably will with theirs. There it is, and they're going to get a double here. So this is unfortunate, unless Frazier comes up firing, which he doesn't normally do. They keep it to a single anyways. Oh, man. That is that is a tough, tough break. All because Clint Frazier decided to just not pick up the ball, not block the ball. Ugh, that is, that is, ugh, gross. Just gross. We're bad. We're bad. We're going we're gonna to get a counter. I know somebody in the last 
last video was doing a joking counter of like how many times we said we're bad but man we might we might need a counter because the season might just be like that we're just bad so all right tatis is up not gonna lie a little worried a little worried here but um 2-2 two, two, i'm gonna challenge him with the fastball i mean 3-2 that's what i meant to say not 2-2 two, two. anyways not good and then Machado is going to bring in a run here. Has to be a run. There's no way it's not. Yeah. Uh, two out runs, man. Uh. All right, Jake Cronenworth's up. Fully expect the... Ah, man, I was kind of hoping he would have chased there. I was going to say probably going to put this in play somehow. But, all right, he keeps it in front of him. Full count with two outs, though. Not where I want to be. So please throw a strike. He does, and oh, it's mashed. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. That's getting the run in. Even with 40 speed, I think, yeah, he's so safe. Just hold on to it. Oh, 4 nothing, boys. This is looking bad. And then right down the middle, Andujar is not getting to that. We're we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're, we're this is this is this is to the point where we might have to start warming up the. We might have to start warming up the the squad, you know? Get get the bullpen moving cuz we're getting we're just we're getting smacked around right now. All right, Loriano helping us out, helping the former team out get out of it. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. We were rocking like offset? No, what were we doing? Offset zoom? Was this what we were doing? I don't remember. We'll have to check next inning, but let me know what you guys think. Like, I don't mind having it back a little bit. It just means I'm going to have to work on not chasing pitches. Please come up throwing. 25 speed should not be a double. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna try to at least get four here from Blackburn. It, it's it's going to be tough. Please just stop the ball. But we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, we can get a ground ball here. That's definitely not a ground ball pitch. But it is an out, hopefully. Andujar, please make the play. I like it. All right, they're telling me hit and run situation here. I don't know if I believe that, but if they want to do it, they're crazy. Is he safe? And then we throw, they're gonna. <laughs> can we just, can we just end the season now? That should have at least been one out. That should have at least been one out and I can't believe it's not. Full count here. Tatis is on deck. We still only have one out. So, like, we got to be... You got to... Come on, Blue. You got to give me that. All right. Paul Blackburn's day is done. Michael Lorenzen's going to come in. Just It just wasn't wasn't his day. So, let's hope... Let's hope Lorenzen can get us out of this situation. That's not a bad pitch to start it off. You know what? I know we need a double play. I got to challenge Tatis here with the high fastball. And he was ready for it. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, woo. Wait. Oh, talk about getting absolutely just smacked around. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's that's not good, man. That's not good. That's not good. That's bad. That's real bad. <laughs> oh boy. Jeez. That's so bad. We're getting killed. Just killed right now. Ugh. All right, Lorenzen. He gets the K. I'll take that. Little little zip on that fastball. Little zip on that fastball. I like it. A walk. Not ideal. He's going to go. Oh, that's another home run, huh? All right, Lorenzen, I just, I need you to get me out of this inning. There it is. Oh, 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 oof, oof, oof. Okay, one out, a single by Chris Davis, a walk by Seth Brown, and we're in a, we're in a little bit of a, a good spot. That's going to be an out, unfortunately, because we're a little late on it. We're jammed. Oh, he drops it. 
Get to second base. Bases are loaded. Only one out. I like it. I like what I am seeing. It is beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Jose Rondon. No double play. Please. That's not ideal. That's not ideal. I really need a base hit here. Just put it in play. Honestly, just don't strike out too. No double play. No strikeout. He struck out. Ugh! All right, one two count, bases loaded. This is our chance. If we don't score, it's over. This is this is the end of the day. Not a bad swing, just a little bit late. Tried to go with it. Honestly, I I like it. I like it. Come on, Tramel. I need you here. I I really need a base hit, man. I can't get shut out 11 nothing. <laughs> I just can't do it. I can't do it. All right, still one two. I'm I mean, come on. Jammed. Jammed, man. Oh, no. Alright, it is officially turned into a bullpen game. Zach Birdie's gonna come in. A little bit of little bit of zip on his fastball. Hopefully we can do it here. That's a good start. Left fielder. Anduhar's coming in to make the play. One out. That's a good start. A good start to the inning. Oh, uh, that's dangerous. That's just that's just gonna get smacked every single time. Machado's going deep to the gap. Gonna be another two runs and a double for the third baseman. Oh boy. 13 nothing. I mean, where was the pitch? Right down the middle. Yikes. Alright, we're gonna get out of it. Two runs thanks to Machado, but 13 nothing, man. This is not a way to have opening day go. Okay, so the fifth fifth inning is over. I'm just I'm conceding. White flag has been waved. We're just we're gonna quick manage this bad boy. We're gonna see how it ends up going. Double a walk. See if he can get us out of the inning. He does. Okay, so let's let's keep going. First and second. The fly out. Can we bring in a run here? We, we, we're not going to, are we? That is not great. Acevedo is going to get his debut with the squad. And 13-0. I mean, it's not looking good for us. Acevedo can... 15 nothing, 16 nothing, 17 nothing. In the eighth inning, they're going to bring in Pagan, and still no runs for us. Acevedo gives me another inning of work, and as we get to the ninth inning, that is it. 14 nothing on opening day. I'm thinking we do maybe one more game today, just because that game was pretty bad. Um, honestly, maybe we leave it there, because, boy, that was, that was a humbling experience. Yeah, that was that was one of those where you go, oof. Do I do I really want to be a glutton for punishment? Oh, oh, that was that was tough, man. That was one of those where I go, man, I tapped out. That was bad. Um, so you know what? That was opening day, an absolute just embarrassment, embarrassment. That's what that was. That was bad. That was bad. We definitely need to look ourselves in the eyes. And figure out what we want to do. A 40 ERA? Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. I am I I don't know if I can handle anymore. I might leave it there. We might pick it up with another game against the Blue Jays next time. That game was one of those where I go, wow, we were bad. We were very bad. We were very, very, very. You know what? Nah, let's just let's do one more game. Let's get, let's get to the Blue Jays game. As we actually won a game. Jose Quintana gets the win against the Padres. Let's take a look and see how this one played out for us in the box score. We 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 won it in the ninth inning. We walked it off, it looks like. So how did we get there? How did we get there? Any home runs? Davis. Chris Davis hit a home run. And it looked like he had a really good game. Four hits and five at bats. I will take it. We do get a win. And as we head to the next series we get a win against the twins as well one to nothing against the no our first injury michael lorenzen goes down he's gonna be gone one to two weeks we'll keep him active during that span sky bolt is also hurt we'll let the cpu handle that and as we take on the blue jays i'm gonna go with ooh, let's go kevin gosman let's go with the game against kevin gosman I just don't really want to throw with Blackburn again. 
So I might change up the, the rotation a bit. So let's get this first game done. Let's hop into a game against Kevin Gosman, the new signing for the Blue Jays. All right, the lineups for today's game. They have Jesus Sanchez as a new addition. They've kept on to Marcus Semien as well. Take it on the Blue Jays. We have Chichi Gonzalez taking the mound against Gosman. Have a completely changed lineup. A lot of new faces in the team. We're 2-8, and eight, man. We're, we're looking rough. I need an infielder. Elvis Andrews, Nico Goodrum are not good. I need someone to come in off the bench or as a starter. We need something. We need something. We need something. Gosman's going to absolutely tear me apart. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens here. Harold Castro starts us off hitting a cool 167. Love to see it. And there we go. Nice little strike to start the game. I'm not going to lie. Roger Center looks kind of nice at this angle. Like, I like playing at this, like, camera angle and everything. Like, it looks good. It's just, it's so hard to hit the ball as I fly out or pop out, whatever you want to call it. All right, Michael Hermosillo is up. We got a guy in first with one out. So, a walk. Got Elvis Andrews on base. And I think that's the big thing here. I just got to be a little bit more patient, especially adjusting to this camera. I need to see a couple more pitches. That's the big thing here. Like that. That I gotta I gotta lay off those pitches. Realistically, I need the ball to be like up in the up in the zone before like I, I realize it's a strike. Ooh, that's a that's a tough take right there, man. That's that's that is a professional take. Full count. Got no speed on first, so like really it's gonna take just a hell mare like a just a, a lucky 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 shot for us to get Andrews in from first, but it doesn't matter. Michael Hermosillo works a walk. Mickey Maniac hasn't played a lot this year, so we're going to get him into the game. 3-1 count, so that's a good start already. We'll take a pitch. That's fine. Gosman's been struggling with command. Let's let's, let's let, him, let him sweat a little bit. Full count, though, so not ideal. Probably should have swung there, but you know what, Mickey Maniac? I think that's getting down. Is that going to get down? Oh, yeah, it is. Get him home. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, we got to keep him at third. Elvis Andrews should score here. Mickey Moniak. There it is. Love seeing it. Gets him an RBI. Probably should have been two. But off the bat, I wasn't 100% sure if it was getting caught or not. And the center fielder delivers for us. Brings home one. And we're in the we're in the lead for once. I, I, I can't believe this happened. Love to see it. All right, 2-1. Here we go, Frazier. That's a pitch I got to hit. I got to adjust better than that one. 2-2. Two, two. Let's go, Clint. Tough, tough, tough chest, check swing there. Tough check swing there. I, it was a ball. It was a ball. I swung a little early on it. Couldn't hold the swing. And now it comes down to Michael Franco to get us in. And uh, All right, one run, though. One run. I'll take it. All right, Chi-Chi. I need a good inning from you. And by inning, I mean outing. Maybe like five... Five innings, 2-2 two -two count to Bo Bichette. I'm not going to lie, though. This lineup scares me. They still have Semyon, Bo Bichette, Vlad Jr., base hit up the middle. Oh, All right. That was a good pitch. I can't, I can't be upset about that. That was just a good pitch. Good bit of hitting. Hits it right up the middle. I mean, look at where it is. That is exactly where I wanted it. I wanted the low pitch there. I want that pitch as well right there. Like, we're, we're doing well. He's locating pitches well. I can't ask for much more. I'm going to go with another sinker inside. Hopefully, we get him swinging. Don't hit him, please. Full count, not ideal with Vlad up. I need the change up to work here, and it doesn't. It actually gets by him. And luckily, he wasn't sprinting for second. Possibly could have got to third there, but first and second with no outs. And Vlad Jr. up, man. Like, this is a scary bat to have up. And that is why. That is why. Oh, man. Oh. All right, let's take a look. I, mm, That's tough. That's tough. 3-1. Three, 3-1 one. Three, one count. Please make the play. All right, we're going to make the play at second. That's just the first out, man. That's tough. First at bat went really well. I thought I thought he located well. I thought he put ex the pitches exactly where it needed to be. Bo Bichette just got a good swing on the ball. Second one got away from him a little bit. We get a walk, and then what happens? Vlad comes up and just absolutely smashes a sinker that didn't get inside enough. And now we're sitting here 3-1 after we started off really well offensively. So now, Marcus Semien, this is a dangerous bat too. 
All right, two two. I really need this to make like need this to be a strike, please. It is right at the third baseman. Luckily, two outs. I I don't think I'm making this play. It's gonna be tough. All right, that's fine. A double. Again, pitch just isn't where I need it to be. All right, Chi Chi. Tough inning. You bounce back. You got us out of it. It's still it's still three to one, right? Like. The sinker just wasn't where we needed it to be. All right, that's a single after a double. Please come up firing. Ah, he, and he's going to get to second. Who's in center field for me today? It's Moniac. Man, he's got a little noodle, huh? He's got a little noodle, and I'm talking about his arm. I'm talking about his arm. All right, so I put the ball. Tr I don't want the... All right, let me change this. Let's go. Classic on. I don't. The thing is, like, I don't want pitch trail. I just, I just want the ball. Like, that's it. I don't want any trail. I don't need to know. Let's, I don't want it to fade, though. That's the thing. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, it was a double by Kevin Biggio. Then, whoever, I think that's Reese McGuire, just, just got a hit. But I need to turn the ball on because I, was, I just wasn't 100% sure where I was aiming it. And not knowing where it's being aimed is killing me like i just i have no idea i'm missing a lot of my pitches and i feel like that's why i'm getting smacked around so much so this way i can have a little bit better idea where my pitches are going but it's still on classic so it just really depends on if you know they make the pitch or not so it looks like it's going to bring in another run here it is going to be five to one unfortunately <sighs> It, it just it's gonna take some it's gonna take some adjusting it's gonna be a learning process it's gonna be a tough season and you know what i'm here for it i'm actually enjoying a franchise i'm really enjoying yeah it sucks that i'm getting absolutely hammered like that padres game but you know what i i'm i'm enjoying it i'm loving the fact that we're gonna build a team here we're not just gonna win a world series season one and it's it's a lot of fun as vlad probably should have taken that pitch deep so we're gonna go to the curveball 2-2 two -two with two outs you know what? If if we can, there we go. Get out of that inning, perfect. You know what? I'll take it. Huh. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Six, make it six one. Alrighty, let's get Semyon out, please, please, please make this play. <laughs> um, it's only the third. It's six to one. Honestly, I knew the pitching was gonna be difficult. We don't have good pitchers, right? Like that. That was that was that was a given, right? Like that was. Something I knew was gonna happen. It's the hitting I need to sort out. That that's just a that's just me. Like I gotta I gotta put up some runs here. This is getting bad. What? Oh like I thought that was a good pitch. He mm, Okay, not even on it. Not even on it. 2-2. Two, two. Let's get the strike out here. Let's end the inning, please. Please. Please, please. It's not even Reese McGuire. It's Kevin Plowecki that caused me damage earlier in the game. All right, 3-2 count. I mean, like, I've been mixing up pitches. They're just absolutely mashing me. Maybe no more fastballs up in the zone. We get them. There you go, Chi-Chi. All right, after a walk, or a single and a walk, we're in a little bit of trouble here. And now we got a full count. So please make the pitch. He does. It was a dangerous, dangerous location. All right. We get an out. That That's a big out there. I mean, another base runner, and we're in a lot of trouble. So, I mean, this is probably his last inning. This is the last guy I wanted to see up at the plate right now. And, oof. Okay. So, one, two count. We, we're in a good spot here. I need this to be right here. Not not there, man. Two, two count. I mean, I can't, I can't go up in the zone to him. As I do. Please make the catch. Please make the catch. Okay. Two outs. I honestly didn't think he was going to make that play. I got so worried. And again, just another dangerous hitter comes up. And we're going to get out of it. That That's a good inning. That's a good, in, good inning. That's his last inning. I've got AJ Puck warming up in the bullpen. But that's a good inning. Okay. Our best hitter, Chris Davis. Didn't think I was ever going to say that. But we've got a guy on first from a walk. And we're going to get back-to-back -back walks. Again, things are looking good. Things are looking good. I just need Austin Allen to do something with this. We need to score. Two walks led to a run last time. That's not ideal. That's not ideal. Is that going to drop? I don't think it will. It's not going to. Tough. 
I mean, this isn't the person I want up right now. He does hit righties better, so maybe... Just maybe, just maybe, maybe, maybe. Your attention, please. All right, AJ Puck's going to come in, see if he can eat some innings here. I mean, four innings from Gonzalez, seven runs, not what you want. That's got to be a strike, Baloo, come on. But um, you know what, as the game got, you know, as we went in more and more into the game, you know, he seemed a little bit more comfortable, but the thing is, we just can't be allowing seven runs, and because of like the the walks, the hits, he just got a little bit a little bit in trouble. The pitch count got a little high, and it just didn't really work out for him. But four innings, you know what? We'll we'll, we'll get better as the season goes on. And Marcus Semien, please strike out here. I'm gonna get greedy here with the curveball. Probably not gonna swing at it, but we'll see. Like I said, probably not gonna swing at it. All right, back to back walks. AJ Puck didn't even come close. To throwing a strike there so we're in we're in trouble oh really full count i need a strike here oh and it gets down the line oh that's tough all right so we keep it to a single but first and third with no outs man he finally throws a good pitch we get the contact we get the grounder we're looking for and it just it's just mm, weakly hit down the line like that and then of course this happens could be a run we'll see they're not going to send him but second and third aj puck man a he's just getting unlucky let's see this just early on it and it's like they're not really barreling up the ball they're just they're they're just getting lucky i guess that's a good strike there all right i need this i need this pitch please please all right no runs gonna score here we're gonna get the out i'll, I'll take that Ooh, i'll take that that's a good out right there um, what do we got coming up here? Jesus Sanchez. Do I load the bases and take the shot at the double play? I think I have to. I think I have to. It sounds so dumb, but I got to. Bo Bichette, it just, that, that's just not a matchup I want. I want the lefty-lefty matchup. This is probably going to come back to haunt me, but we're, we're doing it. 2-1 now. Come on, man. I need a ground ball. I need I need you to hit your spots, man. I really do. I need you to hit your spots. Um, I we're going to the changeup. Full count. Dude, I... Uh, dude, uh, all right. We, we got to take him out. And we got to go to Zach Birdie. And hopefully Zach Birdie can get us out of this inning. Like, please. 1-1 one, one count to Vlad. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right, whatever the outcome is right here with Ploiecki, Zach Birdie has come in and done absolutely, absolutely insane work since coming in, got the double play with Vlad, and has given me two, one, two, three innings of work. He has been insane, struck out a couple batters. Zach Birdie, I'm really liking him in our bullpen. All right, we have our first bit of action, a double. I'm not going to show you it because I wasn't expecting it to be a double. I actually thought he was going to get caught here. But 3-1 to Vlad, not who I really want to see up. He's just terrifying to come up against. So I'll walk him. I'll walk him. But now we face George Springer, which, again, not a bad I want to face. But I will take a fly out here. Should be a pretty easy play for the left fielder. And there we go. Two outs. Uh, Semyon's up. Semyon's up. So, again, it doesn't get any easier. But... It's been pretty quiet. Like I said, Birdie came in, did some work. We we obviously aren't going to do anything. So, like, there's nothing to get worried about there. 3-2, and we walk him. Uh, I was kind of hoping we could have got lucky with the curve. And now we got Teoscar up, which, I mean, this could be 14-1 to one here with this pitch. And we get the strike. All right. So, 1-2 count. I'll, I'll go to the curveball here. Let's see if we get him chasing. In the dirt, we don't. And now we're looking at 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Do I try to challenge him with the fastball? Or do I go to the changeup? Changeup. Alright. Please. Please. I mean, now I gotta throw a fastball and hope that he doesn't walk him. Because if he walks him, we're in trouble. And it's hit right at the center fielder, luckily. And we get out of the inning. No damage done. Alright. Comes down to this. They've had Rio come in since, I think, like the 7th. 
And this is our chance to maybe get some runs in and like make it le look less horrible. 10 to 1 is not ideal. So there's that. And oof. Like just just score some runs, man. The the Padres game was the worst one of the bunch, like obviously, but 10 to 1, 47 to 0, whatever it was with the Padres. It's just not ideal. Ah, that was a good swing just a little early on it. It comes down to Clint Frazier, who's hitting 132 on the year. He's 0 for 3 today. Just not not really clicking with him. And that's a pitch I got to swing. like And hit. Not just swing, but hit. I got to hit it. Right? So, 1-2 count. And, oh. Dang. See? That was a good swing, too. All right. I have a feeling it's going to be out of the zone. But it wasn't. It's not a bad swing, but that's going to be game, man. We just, we're just lacking. We're just lacking. And that's, that's definitely the last game for today's episode. We're just, we're just not putting it together. 10 to 1 is just, ah, we're tough. Only one hit too. So it literally came, like we only had that Mickey Moniac hit. We did get a couple walks, but like, it's, it's just becoming tough. It's just becoming tough. So yeah, that's where we're going to end it today. Obviously not ideal. We're two and nine. Things aren't looking great. We should have a very, very good draft pick based on our ooh, we might not because we were pretty good last year. Let me show you how good we were last year. We were 94 and 69. We lost in the wild card. So we're gonna have a bad draft pick too. Oh man. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be really tough. Ooh, -hoo. all right. Let me know what you guys think. What could we change? As you can see, we're just struggling offensively as a whole. Like, things just aren't going well. I really would like a infielder. An infielder. We don't... We don't really have... Maybe Mikey White we could turn to. Or... That's really about it in terms of, like, bench bats we could use. That's tough. That's tough. So, we do have Mikey White. We could look at free agency and see what's available. Jed Lowry... Marwin Garcia, Robel Garcia, Joe Panic, Seeger, Holt, Duffy. We all know I like Duffy, but, you know, these are kind of what we've got available to us. I would like a bat. I just, I need someone that's going to help me offensively. I feel like that's, that's, that's something I definitely need. Pitching is going to be pitching. Like, we could try to flip a trade or sign somebody in free agency, but let me know what you guys think. What could we do? Is it time for Art Saunders? Who knows? Who knows? But I think I think it's good. I do like the challenge. It's going to take me like full focus, full, like my utmost ability to get us that win. But you know what? I'm really enjoying this, this series. I really am. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for new and enjoy the content. And of course, comment section. Get involved. Drop a comment. Let me know. It, it, just give me comments. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.